On this episode of Drinking Made Easy, we pull in to Cigar City. I get my hands on a $30,000 bottle of wine, kick some butt on a jet ski, and make a blue flame. It's Drinking Made Easy, Tampa. Our next stop is Columbia Restaurant, one of the oldest Spanish restaurants in Florida. Located in Ybor City, Columbia was opened in 1905 by Andrea's great-great-grandfather, Casimiro Hernandez Sr. When Casimiro first opened the restaurant, it was just a small cafe. With each generation, the restaurant has expanded. Now it takes up an entire city block. This is a Cuban restaurant, correct? Cuban Spanish. Cuban Spanish. Yes. We're Colombia restaurant, Spanish food, Cuban influence, but over the years we're kind of Colombia restaurant food at this point. Got we it. have a lot of our own recipes. Got it. And you have a gazpacho soup Bloody Mary? Yes, we do. So this is the meaning of two. It's like Spanish and Cuban culture merging and making something wonderful like this. I feel the same about Bloody Marys and gazpacho. Colombia has a drink that I'm very excited about called the Bloody Gazpacho. The Bloody Gazpacho is made with vodka, Bloody Mary mix, fresh gazpacho, and garnished with a skewer of pickled vegetables. We start the Bloody Gazpacho by adding in the vodka. Like then we pour in the Bloody Mary mix. And we pretty much do a half and half blend of the Tabasco Bloody Mary mix. Okay. Very excited about this. <laughs> Top it off with Colombia's house-made gazpacho. The important thing about gazpacho, gazpacho needs to be made every single day because gazpacho will sour. Make it on Saturday and serve it on Sunday, it's Got gonna it. get funky. It's cold soup that's essentially made in a blender or a food processor, right? Yeah, exactly. So what's in it? It's cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, Garlic, garlic, obviously. It's a garden in here. Yeah. A little salt and pepper. Yeah, we put some bread in there. A lot of people don't realize bread goes really? in gazpacho. Yeah, and that's what kind of thickens it up. Oh, that is a nice looking drink. And garnish with an assortment of pickled vegetables. It changes throughout the season. It depends on what's available. Today, we've got some pickled mushrooms, green beans, okra, and a carrot. Wow. I'm very excited to try this. Thank you very much. You can't taste the vodka. You can't at all. It's like drinking gazpacho. Yeah, it's exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what I was gonna say. I'm a fan of Bloody Marys, mm -hmm. but I'm a fan of gazpacho. But this is something new. It's original to us. I've never seen another bloody gazpacho anywhere. So people just have to get their hands on a good vodka, gazpacho a recipe. Good gazpacho. But you know what? One ingredient was house-made gazpacho in your 5,000-plus square foot kitchen that did not just appear overnight. I'm just saying, it's like people just come here. Oh, definitely. See what I'm saying? To the table, they garnish it for you, they make it for you. So this place originally opened in 1905. Five, okay. actually this is the original bar that was here. This corner cafe was where it all started. And then we expanded it to another dining room. Now we end up with 15 dining rooms. And how many people can you seat? 1,700. In a night? At once. So technically at one 1,700 at one so, time? So yeah, so technically if we were completely packed, we could probably turn both of those all those tables twice, three times. And you've done that? Oh. Will you flip them like that? Oh, many times? definitely. So, so you're talking like 5,000 people? Oh, yeah. Wow. Is there any place else in the country that has a whole city block for a restaurant? I don't think so. I don't know what the science is behind it, but I'm just impressed.